This is a demonstration video of the Tulip Airway in a true core mannequin. Um, the, the Tulip Airway is a very small, one size fits all superglottic airway. It is not a periglottic airway as per the eye gel and the, and the laryngeal mask, as indeed the laryngeal mask sits both beneath, within, and above the epiglottis and therefore is inferior glottic, superglottic, and periglottic. The tulip airway device sits in the oropharynx and is specifically supraglottic, sealing the oropharyngeal space circumferentially. The markings on the tulip, which is a one size fits all device, correspond to the Gadel airway. So a green Gadel corresponds to the top markings of a tulip. Um, the orange Gadel corresponds to the top of the orange markings on a tulip. And a red Gadel corresponds to the top of the red markings on a tulip. If a tulip is inserted, it is inserted easily and quickly, as such, inflated to the volumes required, and in this particular case it is inflated to 60 mils. The, I'm now going to blow down the tube rather than using the anaesthetic machine because this um, posy calculator marked in centimetres of water will show uh, what pressure I can generate through the end of this um, balloon with the pressure valve in, uh, introduced on the end. As you can see, significant levels of pressure can be generated because the seal is absolute within the mannequin. Again, now this is obviously more than is safe within a human being, which is why we use, recommend the use of mannequins for training, because um, pressures as high as 100 centimeters of water would uh, probably be fatal in humans. If I now remove the tulip airway device and introduce a competitor, the laryngeal mask. In an uninflated state, if I now introduce the laryngeal mask down as far as I can go, as indeed the laryngeal mask is used, now if I then inflate it to the correct volume, and again I'll, we will generate as much pressure as we can. Again, watching the uh, face of the posy calculator, we are now getting a leak at that maximum pressure, whereas the tulip provided no such leak. Again. So, as one knows through experience, the laryngeal mask does leak uh, when used to high pressures, uh, as it is a periglottic device. If I now introduce a size 4 um, eye gel, which is effectively a non-inflatable laryngeal mask, the eye gel will introduce with some difficulty in this mannequin, and again, the leak on this occasion is bigger than the laryngeal mask. So again, I ask you to observe the pressure. So we are getting leaking at, at uh, relatively low pressures compared to a tulip. And for the final time, we're going to introduce the tulip again. And now we're going to introduce 60 mils of air, sealing the oropharyngeal space circumferentially, causing an absolute seal. And again, if one watches the face of the calculator, at absolutely many good pressures. And again, again, no leak is demonstrated in this true core mannequin. <laughs>